Dietary fiber, or roughage, is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot be completely broken down by human digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes are proteins that help to digest your food. Dietary fiber is found in legumes, whole grains and cereals, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds. Grain bran, which is the hard outer layers of cereal grains, tends to have the highest insoluble fiber contents. Dietary fiber has two main components, soluble fiber, which dissolves in water, and insoluble fiber, which does not dissolve in water. Most plants contain both soluble and insoluble fiber, but in different amounts. Soluble fiber swells up with water in the stomach, partially dissolving within it to form a thick gel-like substance, which slows down digestion and stays in the stomach longer, leaving you with an extended feeling of fullness. This gel-like substance later gets broken down by bacteria in the large intestine in a process called fermentation, which ends up providing a small amount of calories. Insoluble fiber passes right through us in much the same way it came in. It absorbs water to help soften the contents of our bowels and support regular bowel movements. It also helps us to keep full and to keep the bowel environment healthy. Most insoluble fibers cannot be digested by bacteria like some soluble fibers can, which means that they add no calories to your diet. Dietary fibers make three primary contributions, bulking, viscosity, and fermentation. Bulking fibers can be soluble or insoluble. They absorb water and can significantly increase stool weight and regularity. Viscous fibers thicken the contents of the intestinal tract and may lessen the absorption of sugar, reduce sugar response after eating, and reduce absorption of lipids, such as cholesterol. Fermentable fibers are consumed by the microbiota within the large intestines, mildly increasing fecal bulk and producing gas and short-chain fatty acids. A high fiber diet normalizes bowel movements as it increases the weight and size of your stool and softens it, making it easier to pass, helps maintain bowel health, lowers cholesterol levels, helps control blood sugar levels, tends to be more filling than low fiber foods, so you're likely to eat less and stay satisfied longer, and reduces the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease and all types of cancer. While a high fiber diet is good for your health, adding too much fiber too quickly can promote intestinal gas, abdominal bloating, and cramping. To avoid this, increase fiber gradually to let your body adjust. It is recommended that those aged 50 or younger consume 38 grams of fiber per day for men and 25 grams for women. Age 51 or older should have 30 grams for men and 21 grams for women.